to the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel. I'm Lee Kraft. We're here in Norwalk, Ohio, and the NHRA Summit Racing Equipment Nationals is done. And you are about to see Factory X action. These cars, the newest door slammer cars in the NHRA, they must have stock dimensions for their body. They've got a tube chassis. You're looking at the engine combination out of a factory stock car into these machines and you are shifting just like an NHRA Pro Stock car. We'll pick up the action with a word from the car owner of the number one qualifier, Alex Laughlin. The Blackbird is living up to its name because the Blackbird is known to be the fastest, and that is the case here at Norwalk. 200 miles per hour, 201 earned a spot in the Jessel 200 mile per hour club. You're looking at Jeff Turk, owner of the Blackbird. Jeff, wow, this class has come a long way since debuting at this very event last year. You put blood, sweat, tears, effort, all of it into this class. Where do you think it is right now? Well, I think it's making good strides. I mean, if you think about it last year, you know, I'd, I'd taken my car out early and smashed it up and tore it up, and Greg got his car out here at this event, made one pass, and didn't didn't they didn't want to show anybody the time, so it was, that was cool. But but here we are, a year later, got eight cars. Actually, we had nine entered, one of them didn't quite make it, but we got eight cars in the field, and that one just went 201. You know, for the second time, it went 200 miles an hour, just a year later. And you got eight cars with a ninth, and reportedly a couple more being built. So I, I think it's fantastic. I mean, we went from a start of you know that last year one car making one pass to now we got eight cars here making passes could have had nine maybe got 12 coming and that car just made a 201 mile an hour pass so i think it's very 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 exciting and you got good good people driving these cars you got aaron stanfield we're going to face first round obviously aaron's you know aaron's resume is pretty long and pretty accomplished and he's going to be running up against alex laughlin who's got a similar but different but long resume of accomplishments and they're going to be going head to head Kyle, you know, Koretsky's announced he's going to be driving one and was going to be here, but didn't quite make it. So you got some new, you got some blood coming in like that, some young, very talented drivers, you know, not like this old man who crashed it the first time, but some young, talented drivers, not to take anything away from Greg, you know. So anyway, but but the bottom line is it's very exciting. And I think it, I think when they talk to Kyle about his experience in pro stock and the and experience driving this car, and he contrasted the two and talked about how these cars are a handful and they're exciting to drive and it's difficult. You know, I think that's very, very cool. Jeff Turk will give the reins over to Alex Laughlin and wheel the Blackbird from the number one qualifying position at 705 elapsed time at 201 miles per hour. Round one of eliminations next. All of this on Monday Morning Racer brought to you by McKinney Corp.
Şöyle bir uyla. Şöyle bir uyla. From the left of the cross stop. Chris Robert, the highest ball by car. Three of the four semifinals. The bottom half of the eight car bracket. We already have one new entry into the Jessel 200 mile per hour stuff this week. Not And Stanfield to the final, 710, 193 miles per hour. Aaron Stanfield back himself 300 plus on the starting line. Out runs Chris Holbrook down the track. Stanfield in the Factory X machine packing the parachutes, getting the hot rod ready for the final round. Aaron Stanfield has an opportunity in Holly EFI Factory X to get his second win of the year in the class in this beautiful machine harking back to the Raren Morrison days. Lenny Lodig is making, well, a lot of people grumpy out here in Holly EFI Factory X. You took out Greg Stanfield in round number one and now you got a shot to win but you got to do it over Aaron Stanfield. Yeah they are the uh, pretty well the best in the uh, country here so uh, we're looking forward to uh, you know taking our car here that we've been uh, getting the bugs worked out learning how to drive and uh, put it in the winter circle. I got you know, the best team and crew we could have possibly have so I'm looking forward to it and uh, hoping we all come out on top. National event winner's medallion belongs to Lenny Lodig. And man, you are the third winner in Holly EFI Factory X competition this year in 2024 and doing it at America's Racetrack. This new door slammer class is popular and this place hosted the debut on the national event level for this class and you win it full circle one more year beyond where it all started. Yes, we did. Uh, like I said, we came into here. Uh, no, I've, I've been, I never drove a, a stick car of this caliber before, so you no, know, I've been trying to learn how to drive the car. We've been trying to learn how to uh, you know, tune the car, and we came in here and um, like I say, and then to go and win. You no, know, I had Greg Stanfield for round one. I'm like, my God, no, he's like one of the best in the country. Had him, and then I'm like, my God, now I got Stephen Bell, and then after that, I'm like, I'm like, I got double Stanfields, and what? Like no one beats double Stanfields. I mean, like, I thought the stack was stacked against us, but hey, 
you know, my crew, I got the best crew that anyone could ever ask for that went and gave me a good car that I could go and be competitive. Like, when I went up there, like, I, there wasn't a thought that I was like, I couldn't win this race because, like, I was like, okay, we're going to go and get this done. And so it was a, um, you know, hard work on all my guys. Like, say, the crew I have is just over the top. I can't thank Tommy and Dave and, you know, and I got um, you know, Josh and Greg and I got you know, Jesse and Todd and, and, and Marty. I mean, the whole team, we all work together and we all mesh so good. And it's just, you know, it's an awesome feeling to know that whenever we go, they give us the best stuff we can possibly go to. It's just up to me to go and, you know, see a light come on and grab some gears. Uh, and that's like probably one of the funnest things I've ever got to do in my life is drive the stick car. And so it's been, um, you know, great, great experience here. This track is awesome. I mean, three years ago here, I came and debuted my um, Factory Stock Showdown car just three years ago. And then it was like uh, two and a half years ago, we ordered the FX car and it took forever to get it here. And then we've finally been trying to like learn how to drive it and, and get the car figured out. So to come here, I mean, I would have never, if you'd have told me we was going to win a Wally this year, I'd have said there is no freaking way because you know, everyone else has you know, had a little bit of a head start of us. And then just knowing that we have to learn how to drive the car and all the competition we have, I would have said there's no way. But hey, here we are holding a Wally at the end of the day. So it's a uh, over the top, uh, you know, memory here. So. Again, I can't thank everybody here that's gotten us here in NHRA and uh, Holly for putting this here class together. I'd say it's just a, a awesome time.